enjoyed uh, show you Kim's x-ray. You might have seen recently how Kim got a crochet hook stuck in her thumb. So the x-ray was useful for a few reasons. One was, well, the crochet hook has got a hook on it and it wasn't entirely clear which way round the hook was facing. But we needed to know that to be able to create the channel to pull the crochet hook out through. So the x-ray was taken, we paid attention to which way round the hook, the, 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 the crochet needle was, the hook was, do you know what I mean, like the flat bit so we could see which side the, the number and the name were on and then remember which side the hook was on the x-ray. And the other thing you can see is how far it went into the thumb. I didn't even realise these crochet hooks were that long. I didn't realise it had gone that far into her thumb uh, when I first saw what she'd done. And you can see it's gone all the way to the bone. The bone stopped it. So that is well within the tendon of flexor pollicis longus in there. X-rays, aren't they great? So much detail on there. While we're doing updates, <laughs> you might have remembered a vlog from a few weeks ago where we were searching for a leak. Well, the problem was the leak wasn't leaking, so we couldn't find where the leak was coming from. But since we put the central heating back on, it's autumn now, it's cold, um, the leak has started leaking again, and now we found the leak and been digging deeper in the hole. And I, I have asked my friend who's a heating engineer around the corner, maybe he should come and replace it instead of me doing it, because I'm not entirely sure if I take that joint apart, <clears throat> what's going to happen? Uh, how much water is going to come out of that? So I'm referring to an expert that I trust. <laughs> and then somehow I'm going to have to... Look at how to fix that wall. Hmm. Uh, if you're reading these uh, spotter questions behind me, don't worry, they're not for a summative spotter exam. They're for an example spotter exam that I'm going to run on Monday afternoon with the students, give them a bit of a challenge. Day is pretty much over, so I just finished by recording a podcast for the Dissectable Me podcast about thoracic apertures of all things. That's just what stru struck me as interesting today, don't know why. Um, so I'll export that, share it with Chris, clean out my coffee machine, and then the weekend starts. Um, do you know what we're going to do this weekend, though? Today I've been preparing for Monday's teaching, putting loads of stuff together. Should be a fun Monday. Kind of looking forward to it. Uh, hand, wrist and forearm in the morning. Um, I've been dissecting, been talking about upcoming exams. You know, typical busy Friday. <sighs> right, um, I've also got some 3D prints on the go, so I should check those before I go, right?
time. <laughs> All right, first really cold morning of the winter and the van started on the button. Good job, van. You're gonna go with the purple now. Are you ready for that or do you wanna have a break? Sure. Is it like an achy sore or? I've got that, almost can't breathe. In my back. Do die. Like uh, back like right there. And the shoulder pain is really sharp in there. Oh, I didn't do any crafting yesterday, did it go shopping? We made Kim's shoulder worse. Yeah. Oh, Probably well. knackered now. 